Have you considered using Costco Travel for your next vacation? Hmm? Before you do, you should watch this video. And your caption is turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. Feel free to move around the cabin. Hello, hello, I'm Sparkle, your single solo travel sister, here sharing my tips and adventures to help inspire your next trip. Today we're diving into the world of Costco travel and uncovering the pros and cons of using this popular wholesale retail store to book your next vacation. If you have been curious about using Costco travel for your next trip, you'll wanna stick around to find out what you should be aware of. But before we get started, this is a brand new channel, so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my insights, tips, or adventures that will hopefully inspire your next trip. First, let's talk about what Costco Travel is. Costco Travel is a service offered by Costco. Yes, that Costco, the popular wholesale retail discount store. This service allows its members to book vacation packages, cruises, and rental cars at deeply discounted prices. This may seem off-brand for Costco, a big box warehouse store, but honestly, they've done a really good job of streamlining the service and with all of its other miscellaneous services. And if you think about it, a lot of what Costco sells, you probably wouldn't consider buying all at the same store. They kind of have a hodgepodge of products and services anyways. So the travel service kind of fits in in its own unique way. If you've ever been to a Costco, you know you can find anything in there from fine jewelry to appliances, to mattresses and furnitures and even Cars, yes, they sell cars, tires, <laughs> car parts. So a little bit of everything. Most people shop there for groceries and a few household items, but I promise you once you're in there, you'll end up with anything in your cart. So the travel service is just one of many miscellaneous brands and services that you can find at Costco or on Costco.com. I actually booked my most recent trip using Costco Travel. I was initially skeptical, but once I saw everything that was offered with the packages and the price point, I was immediately sold. And since I have experienced it firsthand, I wanted to share some of the things that you may wanna be aware of before you book using this service. Now that we know what Costco Travel is, let's dive into the pros and cons. Let's start with the pros of using Costco Travel for your next vacation. As a Costco member, you'll have access to exclusive savings and discounts on cruises, vacation packages, rental cars, and more. These discounts can be quite significant and save you time and money making your next trip even more affordable. We know that planning for a vacation, a lot of people save for months to have a week or two off and then you blow through thousands of dollars and it's like you never even put that money aside. It is important to make sure we're getting the best price when we're going on vacation because we work hard, we put money aside to enjoy a couple of weeks of vacation a year and we don't want to spend more than we have to for the vacation experience. I feel confident when I am booking my vacation through Costco. As someone who does a ton of research comparing hotels, flights, accommodations, excursions, from what I've seen on Costco's website, their discounts are significant. Even though the prices are discounted, you can still expect quality accommodations. If you are familiar with Costco as a brand, you know they do not put their name on just anything. They do have a very strict standard for quality with anything that falls under the Costco umbrella. This is what they are known for, discounted prices, but not sacrificing quality. And the same is true with their travel service and the experiences that you have under their travel services. So even though you are getting competitive prices, the quality of the hotels, the transportation that is arranged, the meals, and the excursions are going to be acceptable to most people. Now, everybody's standards are a little different. I will say it's not a high-end luxury vacation experience, but I would compare it to an acceptable four-star accommodation by U.S. standard. I stayed in three different hotels during my Costco travel experience. Each hotel, I would say, was four stars or better, and it was in a location that I would have 
booked for myself. That you don't have to worry about. Again, just one less thing to take off of your plate. Oftentimes when we're trying to do research online in a country that we've never been to or for a vacation in an area that we've never visited, the pictures can be very misleading and we don't really know what to expect when we show up. So just knowing that your service is being booked through the Costco travel with the expectation of quality that the Costco brand has, that takes a lot of worry off of what is this hotel going to look like when I get there. With that being said, another pro is of course that the packages are all inclusive. So you don't have to waste time with multiple tabs being open on your website, going to check flights, checking hotels, comparing it to this hotel, comparing it, changing up the dates to try to see when you, when you can get the best rate. They've done all of that leg work for you and their packages even include your flight, which is very rare. If you go to other vacation package websites, it rarely includes your flight. So knowing that Costco has kept the price competitive and included your flight to me is chef's a steal of a deal. This, like I said, can save you time and effort because vacations are supposed to be the time where we are doing less. And a lot of times the amount of work and research that goes into planning a vacation can feel like a second job on its own. So you don't have the opportunity to just really enjoy and look forward to relaxing and luxuriating because you're spending so much time researching, making sure everything is up to your standards that all of the accommodations and bookings and reservations are flowing together nicely with the costco all-inclusive package you have everything all in one you don't have to get different booking numbers from different websites you're not getting emails from accounts that say do not reply you have a real person handling your entire travel experience that is going to let you know exactly what you need if they need a copy of your passport of your vaccination card all of the details are coming from an actual person you can reply to this person and ask questions if something changes you're getting an email from the same person and again that just gives you a peace of mind you don't feel like you're just a number in the system and you're calling a 1-800 number a customer service number and this person has no clue about your vacation or what what you booked when you booked it and what else you have going on during that vacation so that to me was very helpful especially as a solo traveler the last pro to having the costco package deal is the travel protection that one price that you're paying even though it's a discounted price it already includes your travel protection so once again if something is to go awry you're still dealing with that one person with that one company you don't have to call a separate travel insurance company you don't have to contact your credit card you can if you want to if that is just an extra step you want to go but if something happens within your trip it's already covered. So you can just reply to that email or email that agent that has been communicating with you the entire time and say, hey, this is what we experienced. Is this covered under our travel protection? And that agent can get back to you with a clear answer. That to me is again, something else that is very priceless. And it is for sure a pro, but it can end up being a con with a contingency so i will get into that towards the end of the video to explain to you what my experience was and yes it was handled professionally but it ended up being an issue just a tad now let's get into the cons of costco travel while costco travel does offer a variety of vacation packages their options can be limited they are limited to a handful of very go-to tourist destinations within the Caribbean and Mexico and a few destinations within Europe. If you are a very avid traveler and you like to see all the hidden gems all over the world, you may not find what you're looking for on the Costco travel website. So just be mindful of that. You're going to only see options that are pretty much your go-to straight for super touristy destinations. Also options cannot be personalized. So the package deal, the way that they are able to keep the rates so competitive and so low is that you're booking everything within that package. So if it's something that you aren't interested in, like maybe you're like, oh, well, I'm not going to eat the breakfast. I wonder if I can get a voucher to go to this vegan restaurant or 
I don't fly with this airline. I wonder if I can forego the airline that Costco used to book and use my favorite airline over here. That's gonna make the price climb and ultimately it just won't be as competitive as it would if you use everything that's prepackaged within the Costco travel experience. So you wanna keep that in mind. If there are accommodations that you have to use if you're trying to accumulate points with a certain hotel or a certain airline, I don't know that you will be able to apply that with the Costco travel experience. Additionally, you wanna be mindful that your membership is required. You cannot even browse the Costco travel website unless you are a Costco member. And a lot of people just aren't Costco members and that's perfectly fine. I think that that is what makes it exclusive is that this isn't something that is offered or advertised to everybody. It is only offered to Costco members and only a particular demographic of Costco members are probably going to be taking advantage advantage of these travel deals. With that being said, I do think that a lot of their packages are catered to and benefit families. So as a single solo traveler, I was able to take advantage of one of their European packages. I absolutely enjoyed myself. Like I said, it was one of the more hands-off vacation planning experiences I've had in a really long time. However, I didn't see a lot of other vacation packages that I thought would be a good fit for me as a solo traveler. A lot of what I saw, the cruises, the resorts, they all seemed more catered to traditional family travel, which is fine. I think if you are traveling and planning for a family, this is going to be more of a service that would benefit you because you just wanna pay your money, get on the plane and know exactly where you're showing up. Whereas if you're traveling with singles or as a solo traveler, these are the groups or the demographic that tend to want to personalize or change up the, the package a little bit more to fit their needs. Because there were some things that I would have wanted to change but since I'm a pretty easygoing traveler, it wasn't that big of a deal. And like I said, I still enjoyed my experience. Lastly, you wanna be mindful that there is no price match guarantee. So while the prices are competitive and you probably will be getting the best price at the time of your booking, there's been a lot of uncertainty with travel, especially international travel in recent years. So things happen, hotels can decide they wanna offer deeply discounted rates or an area that was once a highly in-demand tourist destination can become not so desirable and you may want to change. You won't be able to call the airline and say, hey, the flight prices went down or call the hotel and say, hey, I found this discount code on another website. Because for one, you're not able to see the itemized charges. It is a package deal. So you do pay that flat rate and you're not able to see, okay, well, this is how much my hotel costs. This is how much my flight costs. And this is how much my meals are costing. So I can apply this discount code and save this much. Once you pay, that is the rate. If you find something cheaper or something that seems cheaper on another website, you won't be able to ask for any sort of additional discounts in that area. With all that being said, my experience with Costco travel, I will definitely give it a B plus or an A minus. I did have a hiccup during my travel experience with my train ticket, but it was handled extremely professionally. The only thing I will say, I did mention this when I said you are dealing with a real person person that is answering the phone and responding to your emails because it is a real person this person works during normal business hours so 9 a.m to about 5 6 p.m eastern standard time so if you're in another country which i was in europe which they are about six or eight hours ahead of the united states and at the time i was having an issue with my train ticket i wasn't able to get anybody on the phone because it was before working hour on the east coast of the united states eastern standard time so that was a little chaotic i was able to just pay out of pocket for a new train ticket and Costco did reimburse me. Like I said, that falls under the travel protection. You're just dealing with one company. You don't have to call a separate company that booked your train ticket or another company to get the reimbursement for your insurance. It's just all one company. I simply, once the office did open, I did make the phone call. They handled it right away. I followed up with an email once I got back home and within weeks, I got a response and they said, hey, this money is gonna be put back in your account. 
sorry for the mishap. With traveling, there are things that happen. You wanna be aware of it. Dealing with one company versus four or five different companies is going to offer you a peace of mind, but you do want to be mindful that it is a person. So it's not a 1-800 number, 24 hour service where you can call and somebody is there to, to help you. Ultimately, I do recommend Costco travel. If you are a Costco member, it is something that you would at least want to consider. If you like to save money now, if you again are accumulating points and you have your system of how you book your flights and how you book your hotels and you don't want to deter from that, Costco travel may not be right for you. I would say ultimately it would be more beneficial for family travelers. But again, as a solo traveler, I give it an A minus B plus, And I would definitely consider using Costco travel again. If you like this content and you found this information useful, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As I always say, this is a new channel. I'm excited to continue to offer you guys tips, suggestions, and sharing my adventures and insight as my channel continues to grow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.